Thank you for tuning into our podcast, Canal Days, What Life Was Like in the Industrial Connecticut River Valley of Massachusetts. I am your host, Carrie, and joining us today is Holyoke's very own local historian and creator of the historical tours of Greater Holyoke, Robert Cuomo. He personally offers and leads public and private tours, as well as presentations of historical topics throughout the state of Massachusetts. Currently, the communities he has chosen to focus on this year are Holyoke, Chicopee, South Hadley, and East Hampton, as well as Granby and Amherst, too. His tours spotlight the canals, reservoirs, cemeteries, and churches, as well as various parks, streets, and selected historical houses within each community. In today's episode, we'll be discussing the Emerson White Playground, located in Springfield, Mass. So where in Springfield is the White Playground located? All right, it's found on 77 Marble Street in Springfield, Massachusetts. Easy to get to. It's a diagonally across. Other uh, streets that make up its sides are not that busy at all. And they have a nice pavilion made there, so it's easy to spot that you're at the right place. Okay, now today we're going to talk about the inside of this playground area. We're also going to talk about the outside. And we're going to talk about how this fits into uh, a name series of parks called the Bill Family Parks. And that's important because I like that things have connections between each other. So, nice place to go. I hope you go visit and experience it yourself and see what's around. And we'll talk about what's in there. And what is inside the playground like? Right, the inside, of course, it has a normal two different levels of playground uh, sets. One for the older children and one set for the younger children. All right, and it has one baseball field that I could spot inside there. There's a lot of park benches along the, the uh, one entrance of it. And then... It has a, a lot of greenery, so you can go walk around the far side, far sides. It does have its own parking lot, and that, that's very helpful to get into there. And it has one outdoor basketball court. And, of course, it's also defined by what's outside, so we'll talk about that. But most importantly, it has a pavilion in the area, and so make sure you, when you go there, that you, you can use that. It's down a bit of a hill. So it's quite a nice little place to go and entertain yourself. Now remember that it's spelled a different way from what you expect. And a lot of people have it wrong. Emerson's easy, but white is W-I-G-H-T. And really quick, before we continue with the rest of our interview, just to fill our listeners in, if you want to find out more information or sign up for any of his various tours, you can check out his website at HolyokeCanalTour.org. And for more information or for private tours, you can email him directly at Bobcat4214, capital B, at Yahoo.com. And his tours make for fun educational outdoor activities for families and group parties. So getting back to our interview, how does the park fit into the, the Bill family of Springfield? Okay. Good question, because I like this family. Nathan Bell uh, started up a series of five parks. The last one was named after him after he died. But his father and his wife and his father-in-law all have parks named after them. And he was a super... Um, he, he was the head of the Parks Commission within Springfield. And he got a lot of these parks going, and other parks too. These are just the ones named after his family. So I'll tell you what they are. Um, in chronological order, is the Emerson White Park is the oldest one of all. That's from 1908. And the Emily Bill Park is from 1912. That's on Franklin Street. The Gurdon Bill Park, named after his father. From 1916 is on Liberty Street. The Ruth Elizabeth Park from 1922 is on Walnut and Hickory Streets. And then the Nathan uh, Bill Park from 1942 
renamed 1947 is on Plum Tree Road near Allen Street. And remember, these are all uh, in a family that all are all related. So Gurdon Bill and Emily uh, Bill are his father and mother. Then there's Nathan himself. And then Ruth Elizabeth White, which is this park, it was his wife. So this park here was named after her. Um, it was named after her even though she was still alive. Uh, whereas the other cases, the people already died. And she didn't die until 1950, so she knew that was, there was a park out there named after her. Uh, and, and there's also the Emerson White Park, which was her father. So Ruth Elizabeth White had a father named Emerson Wright. And this park right here um, was, was formed in the 1890s, but it wasn't until much later that this park we're dealing with was finally named after Emerson herself. And so you have, a, you have some really cool family relationships on these really cool parks, and Nathan and Bill did a great job getting all these beautiful parks going, and Springfield still maintains them to a very high degree. And what is around the outside of the park? Okay, around the outside of the park, you find a school on one side. There's a very modern looking school, out, which also has its own playground set around it. And then the other direction is some busy streets around here. Uh, and so, even when you walk around it on one side, you get a modern look and a very historic look. And then a residential look with some older um, houses mixed into some modern houses. So, no matter how you look at this park, it's good to go around it and learn about it and learn what it's all about and learn about it historically. So, so I hope you can go out there and enjoy it. Thank you. And thank you, Robert, for educating us on your tours and historical topics of your expertise. And we want to thank our listeners for tuning in. And you can check out a large selection of other podcasts on his website as well as on soundcloud.com. And be sure to stay up to date with new podcasts and videos posted daily. And thank you for tuning in.